What's going on guys? Icebreaker here. Today I'm going to show you off some strategies that you can use with the new Proto Troop Stunner. If you want to pick up some tips and tricks for your Boom Beach gameplay, stay tuned. We're going to jump into it right now. Right guys, this is my HQ23 account. Uh, if you haven't seen him, this is the Stunner. He is a basically a grenadier that throws shot bombs instead of grenades. That's basically the easiest way to explain how he works. Uh, I've been playing around with him. I've been trying out some different strategies and stuff. I think I found a couple that work pretty well, but uh, we'll jump into it and let's show you some of these. Hit okay, to start off with then, you've obviously got the traditional uh, grenadiers and the medics. I just threw in a couple of boats of the, the stunner troop. Just you can see there, they stand a bit further back than proper grens, um, which is handy. But uh, put bullet out front, um, just a tank in from any of the damage that does get through, like the longer range stuff, like the rocket launches and whatnot. Uh, but you can see there, as they throw these uh, grenades or shock bombs, they freeze everything up for a few seconds. Uh, the shocks don't last very long. It is literally like three or four seconds. Um, but it's long enough for like the Grens to start dealing in some damage and chipping away at the base. You could even mix in a few boats of tanks. So you've got like the old school uh, tanks, Grens and medics. But if you chuck in like a boat or two of the stunner as well, you get that shock ability from those guys. Um, which helps keep Bullet alive longer and obviously the tanks are there to protect the Grens. I've been playing around with some really wacky troop combos um, like all Scorchers and things. Trouble is with Scorchers is that while they're burning through the base and stuff, the Stunner will throw the shot bombs and trap the Scorchers. So it's less than ideal, right? So yeah, those armored uh, troop combos are definitely going to work better. So let's say uh, I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to put Bullet out front. I'm going to drop all the tanks down. And then we're going to drop a boat of stunners at one end and then a boat of stunners at the other end. And throw some critters down just so they can get into position and stuff. It is just a case of letting them do their thing. Yeah, the other cool thing is as well is these uh, shock bombs that they're throwing do trigger the mines as well, which is really helpful. Uh, they don't shoot super fast. So there is like periods of time where the shocks wear off and you're sort of waiting for them to throw the next, uh, next round of shocks out. So you do need to be aware of that, that things aren't going to stay shocked for, for very long. But um, it definitely does help keep things pinned down just enough for all of the troops to get into position, if nothing else. So as I was saying, the one thing you do need to watch for is they will shock your troops. As they, uh, if your troops get into range of these stunners throwing the, the uh, shock bomb grenade things, then they will shock your own troops as well. So you do need to be aware of that. You can see there that that guy there is being shocked at. You definitely need to be aware of where all of your troops are because, like I said, they will get shocked, which is, isn't great, especially when you're using, like, Scorchers as well, when you're, you're reliant on the Scorchers to do all the damage and get through the base. The last thing you want to do is have your support troops shocking them and freezing them in place where they can't deal any damage to, to the defences around them. Okay, so for me, in my opinion, this is going to be the sort of combo that's going to work best with these guys. Uh, so gonna have the tanks out there to be the meat shield and then two boats of gramps to help you get through the base and then two boats of the stunner and then yeah you're using bullet to tank up front so it's basically a tbm loadout um with two boats of the stunner just to keep things shock and pin down while uh, the gramps deal the damage obviously through the base for the guys who like haven't got instant training or whatever this would be pretty good i think so yeah, guys, that's the uh, strategies I've been playing around with it. I'm keen to know what you guys think and what strategies you guys have coming up with and using them. So make sure you let us know in the comments. Use code BBTFIG in the Creator Boost box in game. We really do appreciate that stuff. It goes a long way to helping what we do. Smash that like, hit that subscribe button, guys. It's completely free and helps us out a lot. So yeah, that's it for this one. I will catch you next time.